this is Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com, and this is another video on Invisalign Advantage. You might have seen my previous videos in previous years. I usually update these about once every year or two when something changes, and it has changed. They've broken out this Advantage program into Advantage and Peak Rewards, so if you're watching one of my previous videos, this usurps that video. So use this video. In any case, um, this is just my interpretation of what I've learned um, by taking their, reading their content and looking at what's new within my portal. Um, why do I do this? I do this because I do help doctors launch and scale ortho in their practice. Invisalign is a component of the services that I do support. It's not the only component. A lot of orthodontic consultants only work with Invisalign. I work with all systems and not just aligners, also braces, phase one, airway growth modification, habit correction, etc. So Invisalign is a portion. My opinion on Invisalign is neutral. I don't work for them. I get no kickbacks for posting these videos. Matter of fact, they're not even friendly to me. I spend more money in legal fees dealing with Invisalign than I would ever get from <laughs> getting a kickback from them. They're very unfriendly to me, to be honest. It goes in and out. Um, whenever they don't like one of these videos I post, I get a nasty letter from their attorneys and I trust me, if I get another one, I will post it. So I'm getting sick of it. So that's why my videos to them are getting a little more hostile because they're just very unpleasant to deal with. But I do honestly like their product and I honestly put my daughter in their product because I thought it was the best for her case. If it was my, when I had my son um, and he was in aligners, I chose an alternative aligner company because for his case, I thought that was the best for his case. So you can't just have a one size fits all approach with your aligner systems. You can get, for an average mild to moderate case, you can get just as good outcomes with a simpler aligner system, as long as you know how to treatment plan it and how to stage it. And you've got good accountability loop with the check-ins. And yeah, you can easily save 70% on a case. But if you wanna go all in with Invisalign, you have an iTero, there's nothing wrong with doing that. You should go all in. If you buy the iTero or two and you decide to go all in, once people start going all in and getting the volume discounts, it's hard to look back, right? But this is what we're here to talk about today, how to earn and redeem Invisalign Advantage points and discounts. So they've changed their tiering a couple years ago. It used to be all this kind of different stuff. I don't know, I was somewhere around here at one point. It is difficult, you know, if you're a single doctor, small operation to get yourself up there. Obviously the group practices and the DSOs easily take the benefits um, of the volume discounts easier because it's, you know, they obviously volume and numbers there's all kind of shady stuff i see out there what people do i mean there's a lot of orthodontists that are funneling gps cases through their own account so that they can get the volume discount personally i think that's super shady i hope invisalign cracks down on some of this because it's really not fair and i think it's a huge liability to all the doctors involved if they're doing shady stuff like that like i think invisalign should really honestly i guess they don't know right but you know, it's just ridiculous that people are being sketchy trying to get these volume discounts um, when the really honorable single doctor offices are struggling just to even make gold, you know, especially, you know, general dentists, obviously orthodontists do more, more volume than that. But if the magic sauce is if you can make gold, that's when the good start, good stuff starts, right? So if you want to get your points, you have to do cases. You have, can't be doing all these light and express and go cases because you're not going to make points doing that. And to be honest, you shouldn't be doing these anyways because they're pretty much garbage in my opinion. Again, this is always just my opinion. Um, most people I know who are doing these repetitively, they end up losing money because you know they're charging less and then these things go into refinements and you have to pay for them after a certain point. So I always say you should do every single case is comprehensive or moderate. I don't care if you think it's easier because it's probably not unless you know exactly what you're doing. And there's a few orthodontists that can get away with doing lights and expresses because they know what they're doing. But you can also send these to white label and alternative aligner companies and pay like $200, $300 for the case instead of 800 to 1000 and they work out just as well. And you're not getting a volume discount really on it anyways if you're even getting points, right? So once you make 24,000 points, which basically is 24 cases in six months of comprehensive or moderate, not that hard to do. That's basically like a case to a case and a half a week, you know? And if you are a general or a pediatric or an ortho, you should have a case to a case to a half a week. It's not that hard, you know? But the key is that you have to approve it by June 30th at midnight. I don't know if it's Eastern or Pacific. Um, and that's, you know, could take a few revisions and come June and the end of that six month period, June and end of December, they get real slow because a lot of doctors are being tricky 
and they're they're slamming trying to get their their volume discount and the same thing will happen the first week of july and the first week of january they're also slammed because a lot of people have been hoarding their cases to submit for the next six month period so just keep that in mind that you really want to make that i would make that goal to get your cases submitted by you know may 31st and november 30th because it's going to take you a few weeks and a few it takes me three to four go rounds per case and i know what i'm doing it's going to take y'all a little bit more most of the part most of the time to get it good so you know take your time try to hit your two cases a week if you can really make that a kpi for your practice you know talking about kpis and incentives you really should have an incentive for the office if you guys make say gold you know for the next quarter you know whether you throw a party no one really wants a party but um i love raffle tickets i think that's a great incentive or everyone gets you know a hundred dollar bonus or whatever obviously talk to your accountant and see how that works but these little things get everyone excited of course individual kpis work way better because everyone's like oh I'll let someone else do it right so i have a lot of content on kpis so you should definitely consider it and kpis and their incentives one thing i've learned is you need to shake them up you can't have the same thing all the time so you know you know, one quarter we're doing this and one quarter we're doing something else. And sometimes it might be cash. And I like to have raffle tickets or different incentive points for different ways that doctors are involved. Obviously, trying to get a patient to start involves multiple people. Sometimes it's just the doctor, but sometimes it's the hygienist. Sometimes it's the front desk. Sometimes it's the back office. Sit together with your team and figure out how people get, can get rewarded for their contribution towards that case. Um, who did what? Who took the records? You know, who ultimately sold the treatment plan? Was it the TC? Was it the OM? Was it the doctor? You know, and and raffle tickets are easy because you know everyone that was involved gets a raffle ticket. Keep your raffle ticket. At the end of the quarter, you know, dump them all in the hopper, and we have some really cool prizes. You know, we have you know five hundred dollars shopping spree here. We've got a gas gift card. We've got small ones, Sephora. You know, nail pedicure, manicure. You know, so. There's big ones, there's little ones, but people are so psyched. And the more that they're involved, you know, the more excited they are. And, you know, the doctors, I mean, teams, they they see you making a good month, but they're like, well, what's in it for me? So, you know, everyone should get rewarded for contributing, not just your own checkbook as a doctor. Um, but in any case, you're going to do it the way you do it. Um, so I recommend just talking to your team and finding out what makes them tick um, and go from there. But yeah, you should remember, you should... You definitely need to opt in to Invisalign Advantage program because getting that volume discount is huge. But remember, you can only redeem it on the on the more thorough cases. You can't redeem it on light, go, or express cases. So you can always use white label for these. And feel free to contact me if you want to learn more about alternative aligner companies. There's lots of them. They're great. All right. Talk to you soon.